Around the back, guys, we've got some, some gear to show you today. We've got a Bison battery box. Um, if you remember last year, about this time last year, we done this. Uh, portable battery box. And also, I'm going to start this year doing a lot more YouTube lives. And I've got myself a Rayblazer phone holder uh, for me to go live. And also, we've got this. going to... Get some gear out of there this year, test it. Um, if you're familiar, the leader brand, I do use a lot of it. So we will we'll be testing a lot of the leader icon rods and reels and potentially get some good discount on them too. So stay tuned on that. But first of all, if you remember, um, maybe back, probably was about March, last year we done this battery box. Now, portable, uh, USB. I think that is a what's that, two amp, two amp USB, maybe a bit overkill, but um, with a voltmeter, banana clips. So if you wanted uh, put any light in, they do screw off and they pin on the front. And I say for my fish finder, so seven amp hour battery fused on the inside, on and off switch there. Um, yeah, cracked little battery box. But this year, we have got some big trips planned. Um, no more important than the Shetlands on the end of June. So we're taking the sibs, beach rods, spinning rods, everything, basically. So if the weather's bad, we can fish, continue to fish, and move around the island, and yeah, make a make a week of it. So. I back to buy myself a battery box that will probably charge my phones, my cameras, um, my vape. Can't go anywhere without my vape. My, yeah, my vape's not going to be there, and it's Friday. Friday is bakery day. Do love a Parsons bakery, and they just looking at me, Chelsea buns and muffins. Anyway, so. Um, yeah, this battery box, Bison, I think was 39 quid. No, 59 pounds, sorry. And I'll give you a quick look. So it is a decent size. You, you fit a good size uh, measure battery in here. 110 amp maybe. But if you're worried about weight, you probably want to look at light ball. To be honest with you, I wouldn't, it's, it's a lot of money for light ball. So I'm just going to go lead acid. Probably a small... Um, small car battery size so I still got a lot of room in there to put space and some tools um, spark plugs uh, maybe like a spade and power for when we go away it was all in the out the way and waterproof um, nice heavy duty wires to connect the battery it's all smart so it's, everything is in there uh, sealed well, it's not sealed but it's all out of the way got this strap that keeps it all all together there's some nifty handles as well just put it up put it strap them up a minute um, I know a lot of people use these for um, like a figure electric kayaks not electric motors on kayaks they use these but there's some tidy handles here and a nice handle on top so it's plenty sturdy enough, some good stainless steel fixings. There is there's only one USB on yeah, like you see some other battery boxes, um, but they won like 80 under quid they got two or three. Um, to be honest with you, one is one is enough. Um, you only want to charge like a GoPro or your phone or your vape. Um, on the top there, there is um, a 10 amp breaker. I think there's 10 amp breaker on the top if you're using a trolling motor or even if you are using this battery box as a battery protection for your electric start. So you can connect your electric start and get uh, off your engine charging directly to you. And um, yeah, so you've got breakers for your electric motor or your electric start and a 10 amp breaker for all your boating accessories. So I don't know whether you can. There, 
It's a 10 amp breaker and a 60 amp breaker. Uh, it is smart, so when you connect it up, you've got your test button here. Um, you put connect everything up and then you push your test and it wakes up the box. You've also got on the top is a um, battery level, so you can see how much power you have in your battery and yeah, it's pretty pretty good. And also a 12 volt cigarette right there, which yeah sorry so um for 12 volt there yeah, so if you do use this you and you can take electric pump on board if you're using it for an inflatable um which i will be doing it's it is good you can strap it down maybe um by your fuel tank so it's out the way mm. say so, you now do you want to be strapping by, by your fuel tank probably not uh probably would be ideal to have some d clips if you was on a sib some D patches put on and then have a little strap to keep them tight. But yeah, that's a, that's a cracking old box. Banana clips. I'm well over the moon with that. I'm well over the moon with that. Um, yeah. And then we got this. We got the Real Blazer phone mount holder. So, also. So as you can see, um, phone, uh, GPS, VHF, it all did all. But this year, um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube lives lately. It's taken over my life, really, to be honest with you. So thank you all for sharing your YouTube lives. And I'm going to start doing a bit more myself now. So this will, will help me out. So if you use one of these, or one of these, let me know. And also, um, we will be testing from a good friend a lot of the Icon range. Um, we've got catalog, so we'll be having a look at maybe some of the multipliers that are on offer. Maybe do see if we can get a bit of discount on them. Hopefully, um, the spinning wheels, the forty and fifty, they all come with braid, so. And I, if you've watched any of my videos, I do love the Icon range, especially the, the black and gold. They are, you know, 6 to 12 pound. Um, fantastic fun with the top. But yeah, I'm going to um, do a bit of concentrating on the leader range as well. So stay tuned on that. And yeah, so big thank you to all my new subscribers. I think we've hit 920, um, which is remarkable i never said i would really to it a thousand but now we're so close um if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this just help me out sit to subscribe it's south wales no south wales sibangras is our facebook group but sim fishing adventures is it's my personal page and um yeah we will be doing uh got a few big trips coming up now which is stackpool very soon uh, after taupe uh, we're going to venture some different places as well so you can get some nice spring spring bass and pollock uh, start fishing uh, the kelp forest so i will be going live all our weekend and maybe in the evening around the campfire and um, barbecue we'll go live and we can have a chat with the boys like um and also we've got the shetlands as well which I am really, really looking forward to uh, get some some big cod. Well, cod, coalies. I would love to have a big skate. Um, that is got to be ticked off my list. Um, just you know, if there's any other fish up there, like um, is it halibut? Did you get halibut? Chance of halibut up there? Um, wolf fish, you know, blackmouth. Um, dogfish, just yeah. So it is a place that we're probably never going to go again. So we will be going live. And yeah, thank you, thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget give us a like and a share, and hit that subscribe, guys. And 
yeah, stay tuned because although we've had a really, really bad winter, probably got out about five, six times. We did pill the car then, don't get me wrong, but really since Christmas it's been very poor fishing. So I'm just glad we're on the we're on the switch over now. The Rays, the Elms have started the show. Um we will be out at every opportunity. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll be on the fish. So thumbs up guys.